over the Wildcats in convincing fashion. Underway from Champaign. Wiltshire from his own five. And he's popped across the 25-yard line. Key fourth down conversion to beat Minnesota and then followed up with a 500-yard performance. We'll look to continue that today. Reggie Love the third will try and cut back. He'll do so and pick up nearly two. Well, if you're looking for Missed some time this season with an ankle injury. This is second down and nine. First pitch to Isaiah Williams, a stiff arm, and Williams cuts back, still on his feet, athletic move, and turn a negative play to a gain of four. Let's take a They've kind of found their rhythm. These are the five guys, and that's been a big reason why they've won three out of their last five games. Panic on third and five, fires quickly, and that's caught by Pat Bryant, but he has dropped well shy of the line to gain. So it's first lead this Wildcat defense and tackles. Hugh Robertson, 30-year-old Aussie. On to punt this one away, A.J. Henning. With speed, points back at his own 30. Henning, the fair catch, hung out of that, tumbling down to the ground. You know, David Braun said he felt back in camp they could have a special season, and a big reason was what he saw from Ben Bryant. Cam Porter coming off a 95-yard rushing game last time out, works his way for about four. Giving up a lot of sacks, a lot of pressure. They're going to have their hands full today. Here's Henning on the screen, trying to get a block or two, and he'll pick up two more. It's third down. And in PBUs, he's going to have to make some big-time plays against this talented Northwestern receiving court. Illinois has struggled on third down today. Long throw, and Henning, did he catch that? Ball came free. I believe that is ruled now incomplete. Spoon. Well, Xavier Scott, as a sophomore, has been thrust into the fire. Leads the Big Ten in PBUs. He plays nickel, so he'll go inside and be matched up like you saw there on A.J. Henning throughout the day. Fair catch for Isaiah. And the linebackers for Northwestern, we saw him come up, make a nice tackle to first fourth down on last drive. As Reggie Love, the third, works his way out near the 29-yard line after a gain of four. Surgery and was initially ruled out for the season. He's had a great week of practice. I love closing in on 1,000 career rushing yards off the tip. That's intercepted by Jaheim Joseph. Off the deflection and Northwestern, a strength has been turning. They're doing what they've done. And look at that, plus 26. What a turnaround for the Wildcats. Here's Porter. As Bryant was pressured, he's out. Looking at a future first round, potentially top 15 pick. Zachary Tolby, number five, comes in for the injured Taz Nicholson as Porter up the middle has the first out inside the 50 this year. We saw the note how much Illinois has struggled in the red zone this season. Jack Lausch, a Wildcat quarterback, took it himself. And he's tackled near the 10 yard line, a gain of four. The year we'll dive into that topic as we move along today. On second down at six, Bryant will throw this one towards the corner and too far for Bryce Kurtz. And it's third down. Top five in the conference, third down offensively. Bryant, good pocket throws in the end zone. That's pulled down. Touchdown, Bryce Kurtz. Nope, that's Cam Johnson. The touchdown for you. Now five this season. Yeah, that started at Vanderbilt, Arizona State, wrapping up his career with the Wildcats off the Joseph interception. Johnson. A 10-yard touchdown reception from Bryant. Olsen, and the extra point is good. Northwestern, the opening quarter. And Wilcher takes it out from his own end zone. And nice tackle made inside the 20-yard line. Good downfield play made for David Braun. Reggie Love. Across the 20, picks up three. Roommate back in the day, but still great year back in the early 1900s. But David Braun, you think about it, Jake. Northwestern has led by their now head coach, David Braun. Panic, pressure, hit as he throws. That's caught by Ryman. And Tip Ryman, the captain, the tight end, picking up five. Ryman, a former walk-on. Love patiently waits for a hole to open up. It does. Lowers the shoulder. Nice run. 
Out near the 37-yard line. Brought down by Xander Mueller. They rely heavily on the pass this year. That's part of the reason they've turned the ball over is it's kind of against their identity. Here's Love trying to cut back. And he's tackled. After a gain of one. On third and four. Paddock throws. That's caught. First down. Under the 46-yard line by Pat Bryant. Clean pocket that time for Paddock and a good pass and catch of Paddock. And now to his right. They fake it to him and a sliding catch made by Bryant. Across midfield now into Northwestern territory after a gain of five. His knee in October. Out the last three games back today. Lawfrey hoping to get about 10 to 12 snaps today, maybe more. How about this run? Welcome back, Aiden Lawfrey still working hard. First down, Illinois. Miraculous speedy recovery, and you see the juice, the fresh legs, and the pop there on that last run. Picked up 17, high snap, controlled by Paddock. Lawfrey again, this time hit and contained. Good tackle down to Stone. After a one-yard gain, Paddock. Looking right, swings it out. This is Reggie Love trying to get around Gallagher, and it'll be shoved out near the line to gain about a yard shot. 11th play of the drive. Trouble with the snap, and Paddock is popped. It's a loss of close to two on the play. The exchange was 42-yard try for Caleb Griffin, and this one is down the middle and it is good. So Griffin connects on his 12th major from Oregon State. I think that's a phenomenal hire for Michigan State. Henning. Out near the 27 yard line. He's back in some earlier. On a red zone trip, and now Lausch. He'll hand it off. And this is Henning. After a gain of four. Oh. Savior Scott. Grimacing in pain there. Mm. Boy, Illinois. Certainly a new look secondary for Illinois this season with Devin Witherspoon, Quan Martin, Sidney Brown. Fine with the fact that Northwestern's offense leans heavily to throwing the football. Tyler Strain comes in and replaces the injured Scott as Lausch spins. Backed up too long because the Illinois defensive line, they'll get after you. Anthony Tyus comes in at tailback. Bryant back in at quarterback on third and two movement. Mm -hmm. And this will push Northwestern back five more. False start. Offense number 68. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. It's on the left guard from Niles, Michigan. Number four, Johnny Newton to the right side of the interior defensive line. Bryant in the pocket steps up, and here comes Johnny Newton to bring him down. There's a flag thrown from well, well downfield. But a Johnny Newton in his final game, the captain announcing he will not play in any bowl game, even if Illinois wins today. Provided the holding. Defense number 20. And it is. 10 yard penalty. Automatic first down. And that's the new corner that can all of college football. The most penalized team of the Big Ten, averaging almost 70 yards of penalties per game. Bryant throws open. That's caught by Ray Nairo. As he's dropped near the 49-yard line after a gain of close to nine. Anthony Tyus. Nope, it is Bryant keeping it slides down and has the first down inside the Illinois 45-yard line. Good decision by... But a good read there by Ben Bryant to pull it and move the chains. They do run a play. Blitz coming, and Bryant will just chuck this one down to the field. And he took a big hit. Clock stops with four seconds to go in the corner. He upset that no grounding was called.
a lot going on there. <laughs> they, they, they were running an under route. It looked like there was a receiver in the area. Timeout, Illinois. <laughs> so second down and ten. Bryant throws on a slant. That's caught by Johnson. He'll pop three. And Johnson works inside the 30 yard line of the 26, a gain of 18. First, first and 10 here for the Wildcats. Anthony Tyus up the middle. Tyus inside the 10 yard line. And it's first and goal for the Wildcats. So, Dean, wondering if Brett Bielema was a receiver close enough. But again, that's not review. As did we. This is Tyus slipping free. And he'll be short of the goal line. After a gain of seven. So, Dean, thank you. He wants it more at this point in the game. On second and goal. It's Tyus up the middle. End zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Anthony Tyus, the third, with his first rushing score of the season and his third career touchdown. And the Wildcats add on. It's a, maybe a bit shocking, at least to me, because Johnny Newton and Keith Randolph, the law firm, they make up a really strong interior defensive line. That, that's a strength of Illinois' defense is their defensive front, and it's probably the more weaker part of the Northwestern offense. But on that drive alone, Ty has popped a couple runs. They've been able to run the ball. Ben Bryant has had a clean pocket. So far, the, the trench battle is being won by Northwestern. Nine play, 73-yard drive. Extra point is good from Olsen. Wiltshire. Good return from Wiltshire. Wiltshire tackled across the 40-yard line. The Illini need a spark, and maybe that return from Canary Wiltshire of 39 yards will be just the thing. But also frustrating at the same time, <laughs> right? How many more wins could they have if they cleaned up the penalties and the turnovers? Reggie Love. To the 47 again to four. Brook right there. On second down, Paddock. Rolling, throws over the middle. That's caught by Williams. Isaiah Williams has a first down to the 43-yard line. It's a paddock, an expert at finding him. Williams did take part in senior day today, but he could come back for another year on the reverse. Williams throws it back to Paddock. He will throw, and that is dropped. Dropped by Tanner Arkin, who has one reception all year. That was a touchdown against Wisconsin. Illinois had a chance for a big play downfield. Oh. There for Arkin. Love. Cuts back and then runs into the arms of Aiden Hubbard and company. Drops, mistakes, exactly. Wildcats bring four and third and nine. Paddock flushed and throws, and that's caught. Nice catch made by Pat Bryant. And he's going to be just short of the line to gain as he picks up eight. Fourth down. Illinois season for the Illini, third most in the Big Ten. Love up the middle, first down and more. Reggie Love spun down inside the 30. Him around could create some space. Late handoff to Love. Love cuts back, wrapped up inside the 15-yard line. Wide receivers and tight ends and, and just throw the football. There's Lawfrey, and he spun down inside the 10 after a gain of four. Football. Paddock looking left, throws towards the end zone and pulling it down. Touchdown, Casey Washington. He simply wanted that football more. Straight games, his second touchdown reception of the season today. A guy that briefly left Illinois after Brett Bielema took over 2021. Washington transferred to Wake Forest, came back a few months later, capping off a nine play drive. Really a critical drive, too, for Illinois. They needed that response. Extra point is David Olano. And this is taken out by A.J. Henning. Henning! Tackled near the 23. Absolutely critical. 
the fourth down conversion and then finishing with the touchdown Northwestern came out firing. Cam Porter. And a flag multiple flags come down tackled by Tyler Strain. For now a gain of three. And this one I believe is coming back. Holding. Offense number 14. 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. It's on. Cam. In that career, uh, chemistry he has with that receiving core and in the backfield. Yeah, Brooke, he's played a lot of football, multiple schools, and this is bobbled and then recaptured by Charlie Mangieri after a gain of five. You know, Bajakian's calling a great game right now. He's allowing Ben Bryant to succeed, getting the ball out quick. Nice, easy progression reads. Bryant pressure. Johnny Newton rips him down. The sack. From the captain number four in his final game with the Illini. Pick can change the game. That was the quote we got from defensive coordinator Aaron Henry. It's Porter trying to get to the edge, and he will not come close. Cuts that down before you could even get it started. Illinois should have great field position here. And Williams will get away. It'll bounce and down near the 46-yard line. So Illinois will. Will not play in a bowl game if Illinois can win today and play for at least one more. The field, he changes the game. That's well contained by Northwestern after a gain of two. For Northwestern, you want to keep Paddock in the pocket. He's done a good job of throwing the ball accurately when he's flushed. Replay looked like Anto Saka jump number 42 and going up pulling it down once again is Casey Washington a similar ball that led to the touchdown that's a gain of 18 and it'll stand look at the location on that throw over the corner under the safety offside defense the penalty is declined the result of the play First down. Longest play from scrimmage. Game last time out. Here's Paddock. All day will throw it underneath. That's caught by Ryman. And he's wrapped up. And around the 22 yard line after a gain of five. But the two time co captain linebacker Bryce Gallagher. That's it. Here's Love. Cuts back and more. Love inside the 10 yard line. It's first and goal. Times now in the gap scheme. Going fast, and this time the Wildcats were ready. Rod Hurd, the second, combining on that stop with Michael Gilbain. And it's second down. Northwestern loss defense. of one. It's been, you know, bend but don't break, Corey. It's been hard to score on them down there in the red zone. They, they held up well last week against Purdue. Paddock will look back left and he's pressured and sacked. Jalen Pate with his third sack this season. So back to back plays go goal. Expect a draw or a screen. Love now leaves the backfield. Five receiver package here on third and goal. Panic rolls throws that's caught. At the six yard line by Griffin Moore's 12th catch of the season goes for 12 and his fourth down. Caleb Griffin back on, trying to make this a one-point game. 24-yard try. And it's good. Ten straight Illinois points, and we have a one-point game. Wildcats have all three timeouts. A.J. Henning, Michigan transfer is wrapped up. Good tackle made. Downfield on special teams. 
by Solo Turner. And a solo stop. Taz Nicholson, they both walked back to the locker room. Nicholson had a boot on his lower right foot. Something to keep an eye on for the second half, guys. I'll keep you updated. So keep an eye on that as the game moves along tonight on second down, wide open. That's caught by Bryce Kurtz. That plays, yeah, a big, down. that plays a big factor here, Corey, right? I mean, this is two-minute situation, obvious passing situations, and a thin Illinois secondary gets even thinner to get pressure on Ben Bryant and make him uncomfortable. Bryant floats this one. It's caught by Hyman, and he is wrapped up for a loss. Good play made by Seth Coleman. A loss of three. Illinois was ready for that screen. It's something that they have to face throughout the year because of the explosive pass rush. I know teams like to throw screens against them. All cats have all three timeouts. Bryant hit as he throws. It's tipped in. Incomplete. Kurtz dropped it. It popped in the air. And Miles. Jakey in here, the offensive coordinator for Northwestern. I'm testing this secondary. I mean, you might you might think just to run the ball and play it conservative, but with all the injuries, I'm, I'm still in attack mode and testing these guys. Bryant throws downfield and it's intercepted. It's picked off by Miles Scott. Scott, sideline, end zone, touchdown Illinois. That is a huge, huge play in this game. Momentum has shifted ever so quickly. 17 Illinois points in the loin. On a pick six from Miles Scott. And no return this time. From Bryce Kurtz. Well, he has to know when to attack and when to throw the ball away. That was not the right decision last drive, clearly. Saw that the Wildcats will get the ball first to begin the second half. As the line judge comes over and chats with our Big Ten referee, Mark Kluzinski. All three timeouts. And Tyus. Nice run, cuts back, and he'll have a first down. Clock's going to stop as we're under two minutes temporarily as they reset the chains. Now running. Bryant, good pocket, long throw, stretching, and a great catch made by Cam Johnson. Strong hands. Line up, bring pressure. Bryant steps up, a lot of space in front. Bryant's going to slide down inside the 40 yard line. This might be You're picking up 15 more, and now Illinois is going to call a timeout, leaving the line out with one. They're second of the half. So, Northwestern, a good looking drive. Three straight plays that have gone for 10 or more. Bryant throws, and this is caught. Kurtz, and he'll get out of bounds. He sure, certainly has proved a short memory here. On the screen, that's caught low by Henning. Was his knee down as he caught that for now? The ruling on the previous play was an incomplete pass. The play's under further review. Yeah, I, I think we had a great look at it from our crew. I think this is going to be changed to a completed pass, but Henning's knee was down. Mm -hmm. At the review, it was a completed pass. But wait, wait. Because. The completion leads to a running clock. Northwestern calls timeout to avoid a 10 second runoff. Timeout Northwestern, their first of the half. 30 second timeout. A second and 12. Bryant over the middle, and that's caught by Johnson. First and goal inside the five. Tyus runs up the middle, end zone, touchdown! Or not, that ball came out. Tyus was about to cross the goal line, and the ball came out. Northwestern signaling touchdown. Officials have not done that. Touchdown. So touchdown, Northwestern. 
Wildcat fans happy. David Braun happy. Brett Bielema not so much. Got to protect the football. Rosiak that that would have been that is his fourth forced fumble on the year. But Northwestern dodges a bullet and falls on it for a touchdown. Extra point from Jack Olson right down the field. Swift kick and a knee taken by Ryman. So three red zone trips for David Braun, three touchdowns. So Paddock will take a knee. 31 total points. David Olono. Send this one away. AJ Henning from his own end zone. Trying to get outside is tripped up. Another fine special teams play made. This time it was Grayson Griffin getting downfield. Brooke, a minute of the first half. Big plays downfield, taking advantage of that thin secondary. Keep an eye on that. Cam Porter. For about two. And Bryant will fire. And that's caught. Johnson, he's had a big game. Turns up field and a first down out to the 28 yard line. Time and, and time was, again, man. That, strong hands. And that was Johnson working on Zachary Toby, who came in for the injured Xavier Scott. And Johnson now with five catches, 74 yards, and a touchdown as Porter. Defensive front has to have a disruptive second half. Porter again, and he'll have the first down to the 39. Five more for Cam Porter. Bryant, nice throw and catch. There's Johnson again. Illinois, what adjustments does he make to help out his young cornerback? Now downfield, Johnson in stride. Once again, as a defensive play caller or a defensive secondary, as soon as they come up, that's when the double move happens and hits. And a nice pitch and catch there, Ben Bryant to Johnson. Boy, subs coming in, both teams late. Play clock is at three. And they snap it to Joseph Hyman. And nowhere to go that time. The sophomore from Little, top of your screen of the slot is Cam Johnson. Bryant rolls, throws, that's caught by Marshall Lang, the tight end. He's bumped out of bounds near the five. Illinois bringing pressure. They throw it towards the end zone. A.J. Henning with the reception. Touchdown, Wildcats. Illinois brought the house. Bryant threw it up and allowed Henning to make the play that he did. A five-yard touchdown to Wildcats add on. To make this an eight-point game, and Olsen does just that. Take the lead. The Wildcats have come back with 14 in a row and an eight-point lead. And Wiltshire, national championship earlier in the week. Reggie Love the third is hit and dropped for no gain. Panic on second down. Here is Williams with his third catch here tonight. And he is spun down at around the 37 yard line. Out in 2021. And he could come back for one more year. Paddock on the screen. That's caught. Casey Washington will have the first down of the 41 after a gain of his teammates in the locker room. They rave about him. Just a phenomenal all around athlete in person. And right on cue, Jake Butt, here he is, Williams, over 1,000 yards receiving here tonight, adding to that big play on first. It's happened. Made of 19 more for Isaiah Williams. His fourth catch here tonight. Now Love, a gain of about three. Corey, you on and off the field, and for the future players to implement that same sort of mindset to their game. I broke thanks. And Williams. From Paddock, and he'll have the first. Even comes back to Illinois after transferring to Wake Forest as Love is wrapped up by Mueller. And Rod heard the second. He can help us win. 
And also said to Washington himself, hey, you'll like this staff. Direct snap goes to Reggie Love, the third. And Love is spun down at around the 22-yard line. A third down at three. Love is stopped at the line of scrimmage, and it's fourth down, no gain. Griffin, he's connected on two attempts here tonight. And Griffin is now quarter. And no return this time. Starts this drive from his own 25-yard line. Cam Porter finds Keith Randolph and company. While Johnny Newton has said this is his final game, Randolph said if my team wins and plays in a bowl game, perhaps I will play yet again. But right now, the junior is down. We'll step aside. Bryant caught Henning Bridge and Clark and Jaheim Clark freshman from Fort Myers very young secondary right now Bryant kept it Bryant will go oh. down as Tyler strain hit him high as Bryant was going down to the ground again of three Tane can contain it didn't do it there's Porter spinning his way for about five it'll be third down and two upcoming. It's Porter. And second, third effort. He's going to have the first down. Needed the Illinois 49. He got to the 48. A gain of three. First and 10 Northwestern. Porter is just such a fun guy to watch. Team losing to their rival, but getting blown out. As Anthony Tyus comes in to spell Porter. And up to the 44. Gain of four. For seven drives. Now Bryant back to the air. And we've seen that play time and time again. This is Kurtz working on the soft coverage. I would get into a four down front and start playing zone. Bryant over the middle. And that ball's out. It's out. And it's recovered right now by Northwestern. And Caleb Tiernan, the starting left tackle. Across the board. It's just a tough ask for these DBs in this game. Bryant flips it forward, caught by Porter, and Porter's going to crawl his way inside the 28-yard line for a gain of seven. And his third down. Porter! Brought down on third down, no gain. And it's fourth down. For stoned him, forced a field goal. Jack attack. Olson, career high 47 against Maryland. This from 45. It's on the way, and it is no good. The Illinois down five. Reggie Love the third. First down to the 40. Gain of 13. Missed tackle in the open field. A good job by Reggie Love taking him out to dance and shaking him. Love 18 carries, 78 yards. Now Paddock back to the air. That's caught. Casey Washington adding to his big night. Is wrapped up by Ori Adei. But 16 more. Another Illinois first down. Out of the pistol. Love trying to turn it upfield, and he'll find the arms of Jaheim Joseph for a gain of two, and that's the final play. Most appearances by the conference is 10, said a couple of years ago, Casey Washington. He has had a huge night. Picks up 22 more. First down, Illinois. It was one-on-one -on -one to the top of your screen there. A lot of space. Maddox hit his last nine throws, and that's tipped and off the deflection caught by Washington. He's ripped out of bounds for a loss by Xander Mueller. Hey, 
Love on the delayed handoff. Got around Hurd. Love tripped up inside the 20 yard line. Delayed. And Reggie Love did the rest. Here's Isaiah Williams. He's going to throw it wide open. End zone. Touchdown, Pat Bryant. His fifth career passing touchdown, Williams. Two point try. Williams in motion. Love to Paddock's left. Paddock rolls, throws. Two point try is good. Tip Ryman. Illinois by three. Relatively quiet last week. Illinois back in front. A.J. Henning. Wrestle down. Inside. The match going on right now. Aaron Henry did a good job of dropping into zone coverage last drive to end the drive. Tyus. Beg your pardon. That is not Tyus. That is Thomas Gordon. Another Illinois without. Keith Randolph right now. Key defensive lineman. So we've seen number 48, Bryce Barnes, come in and join the front after a gain of three. Brooke, third down and one. Bizarre play, timing looked off, flag thrown as Henning is dropped. Kind of out of sync there. Big mistake on third down. Good punt from Renner. And Williams dropped it, balls on the ground. And Nairo had a chance, still loose. And I think Nairo got it back, number 23. And he did. Isaiah Williams dropped it. And the Wildcats take over. Ray Nairo. Who's been Lights on at night, sometimes you can lose that ball, but there's no excuse in this situation. Tipped in the air, off the hands, and Thomas Gordon tipped it to himself. And picked up three. They're used in timely fashions. Bryant throws and incomplete. Looking for Cam Johnson. He was open. Yeah, I don't know if that ball got tipped or it went through a little bit of traffic, but Cam Johnson, he's caught just about everything thrown his way today. And that's caught by Kurtz, and he is stretching, and it looks like we'll have the first down to the eight-yard line. Northwestern's trying to go fast here, and they blow it dead. Timeout, Illinois, their first of the half. To that timeout, to an official's review, Illinois still three timeouts. Bryant, big gap up the middle, touchdown, Northwestern! And Bryant. Fourth rushing score this season for Ben Bryant. And the Wildcats once again capitalize on a turnover and regain the lead. But Ben Bryant staying calm in the pocket and getting it done. Big extra point is good for Jack. Back-to-back -back years in over a decade. Wiltshire has had some good returns tonight, but not this time. That ball's out again, oh and goodness. it's scooped up by the Wildcats, and this is going to be a touchdown. Unbelievable! Wiltshire lost it into the hands of the Wildcats and Northwestern. Victory, Pickerington Central. Uh, one, it's been a tough day for those from Garner Wallace. Found it and scored a touchdown, and Northwestern. They note Northwestern scoring its most points in the conference game since 2020. Paddock caught Ryman. And they will stop him dead. Shot at the 25-yard line after a gain of five. To get to a bowl game, they desperately need a bowl game. Paddock pointing downfield as a man wide open. That is Casey Washington. Washington cuts back. It's a foot race inside the 10. Washington down near the two. Pet this tonight has looked anything but like a Big Ten West game this year. And now Paddock slipped. He lost his footing, and he's down back at the seven-yard line. Seeing this game alone. 
Panic has connected on his last 12 passes. Can he make it 13? Washington, a lot of contact. Number Darren Johnson Pass just got beat. Defense number 10. By rule, the ball is placed at the two-yard line. First and goal. Yeah, that's the right call. Oh, never, never. Okay. So that erases that mistake. Paddock tripping himself, and now it's first and goal. Back at the two. Reggie Love is met and dropped. If you can. Paddock fakes, throws, tipped in, incomplete. There's that Johnson Washington matchup again. No flag this time as third and goal. Washington, after that, you can feel the suspense building here in this stadium. Paddock throws and incomplete. He was open. Isaiah Williams was wide open. So, Bielema, you've got to get six here. Paddock pumps, throws, end zone, touchdown, Casey Washington. Another two point attempt. Paddock throws and tipped and dropped incomplete. Point Northwestern lead. Midway through the fourth quarter and a fair catch from Henning. The ball with Brett Bielema's been in this spot so often. A one score game here in the fourth quarter. On the slant, that's caught by Mangiri. Porter, that opens up Cam Porter into the secondary. Now, Caleb Tiernan picks him up. Remember the side of the line they attacked there without Keith Randolph. Deep ball downfield, it's Kurtz, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyler Strain with the interception. Starting inside their own 10, Reggie Love the third is dragged down by Bryce Gallagher near a first down. All three timeouts. Love looked outside, then brought it back in, and the pile moves out to the 21, a gain of four more. Just with that graphic right there about how many close games Illinois has been in this year to kind of get ahead of that for next year. Love over 100 yards and now over 1,000 yards in his career. That's thrown high, incomplete. And there's that Washington Johnson match. Casey Washington one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of your screen as well. The teams have been pretty good on third down tonight. Third and six for Paddock. Off his back foot, throws, and it's tipped in. Was that caught by Mueller off the pick? Oh my goodness. It was. Confirmed, Dean. Thank you for the input. And here come the Wildcats set up with great field position as Porter is wrapped up by Akis. And a five-point lead. And Illinois, if they can keep Northwestern to a field goal, still a one-score game. Bryant, pressure, Johnny Newton got there again. Back even further if, if no yards get gained here for a field goal opportunity. Yeah, this would be about a 49-yard try. Olsen's career long is 47. It's Porter getting outside. Porter is knocked out inside the 30. More kicks than Illinois. On the way from Olsen, it's low, and that is going to sneak through and good. Oh my Jack Olsen extending the lead. Now a short kick. And that's on the ground, oh and Illinois hangs on for as they start from their own 33. And that's incomplete. Sean McLaughlin disrupted. Late in game, starting with that Minnesota comeback victory three for three including a fourth down to lead his team to victory we'll need some more of that here Isaiah Williams get out of bounds out across the 40 yard line it'll be third down Paddock throws incomplete a bit behind Williams and it's fourth down is this a no-brainer to go for it here they have all three timeouts fourth and three guys Paddock has went to throughout the game. Critical fourth and three. Northwestern brings three. Paddock pressured, hit, and he's going to be sacked by Anto Saka. Now it's all about ball security here for Northwestern. 
I mean, the Illini could still get the ball back with about a minute 20 to go. First down for the Wildcats, though, all but seals it. It's Porter. It's third down out to the 30-yard line. Illinois. It's game. No timeouts left on third down. And Porter brought down to the line of scrimmage. Eason field position. Right. Needing a score and a two-point try to tie it. Delay of game. Offense, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. Minute 22 to play, and Renner will punt. Illinois bringing pressure, and Renner got it away. It's going to bounce inside the end zone. So from the 20-yard line. Going in motion, so now you got one-on-one -on -one with Casey Washington. Paddock. Throws and that was dangerous. The Paddock wants to go with the football. On second down, Paddock throws and it's Washington. Washington inside the 45. Casey Washington down the sideline. Washington near the pylon and he is in. Touchdown, Illinois. Unbelievable. Williams, who's the inside of the bunch down in these situations. Here's Paddock, rolling, throwing, tipped in the air, and a flag! A flag is thrown. There is no foul for pass interference. The ball was tipped. The try is no good. But obviously that didn't take place. All right, Dean, thanks. Here we go, onside kick, and it's recovered by Northwestern and the Wildcats. We'll have the ball inside the 45. We do have a marker down. Offside, receiving team number 87. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Re-kick. And he goes the other way. And it's recovered by Marshall Lang. No flags on the field. And David Braun and the Wildcats all smiles. Still gotta go watch the film on this one because Far, far, far too many mistakes in this game. They took, they took away the, uh, the ball more on defense. That'll be the recipe for Illinois next year and going forward. Illinois season is over. David Braun, perhaps the Big Ten Coach of the Year, ends a seven-win regular season campaign and more football to come.